Welcome to this episode of What a Horse. It's rainy outside, but yes, Jerry Williams is. was right on time. <laughs> Salt don't melt no way. That's right. That's, that's right. It. Yeah, you All go. Right. You do your deal, and then I'll do the when we come back. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KB Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip, and then boom. Adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. A lady and her horse is the best way to describe Sadie Parsons and four-time world champion and world grand champion Epic as they team up for the 2023 show season. It's time to meet our world grand champion, it's Epic. Sadie wanted a great partner she could depend on in the show ring, and three-time amateur show pleasure world champion and world grand champion Epic was the perfect choice. As he continues the show, he is at the top of the show pleasure division and the horse of Sadie's dreams. Epic. Sadie asks for your support as she guides Epic to additional blue ribbon performances during the 2023 show season. Riding out the lineup as our world great champion for the Yellow Hamster Show Pleasure Division in district number 837, Epic. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. <laughs> All right, got some quick announcements. Uh, 
before I do, I want to ask everybody to pray for the Sims family. They lost one of their sons this weekend in a very tragic thing for the walking horse industry. Uh, okay, Walking for the Angels is June 23rd and 24th in Shelbyville, Tennessee. There's 65 classes of this show. It's going to be held at the Ag Center. Contact Julie Graham at 931-619-2520. Start time is 5 p.m. Mike Hilly, Jason Hughes, and Ryan Parker will judge, be the judges. Christmas in July just keeps doing stuff. They have added Kentucky Walking Horse Association for the high points. She, that's a good oh, move. Oh, yeah, good move. Right. Uh, July, the Christmas in July is 27th, 28th, and 29th at the Ag Center in Shelbyville. You can contact Carol Misseldine, 919 Four three seven six five nine seven. Judges are Chris Bobo, Brent Greider, and Chris Zan. Start times four thirty. They're they're having hundred and seven classes. Money Tree, June, June the third. It will be located at the Cal Sonic or in, in Champions Arena, I believe it is. Contact Carrie Tisma six seven eight five seven six twelve ninety. They have thirty eight classes. Judges will be Scott Beatty, Scotty Brooks, and Dale Watts. And then uh, July the 1st, we have the Woodbury Show. Con contact Shane Cannon, 615-904-4395, and Mr. Jamie Lawrence will be the judge. They got 40 classes. We got a lot of shows oh, coming yeah, up. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of shows coming up. A lot to do. A lot of fun shows. I I'm going to tell everybody, <laughs> we... Uh, we are trying to close out all of Richard's jewelry. And uh, I don't know what we're going to do with what's not sold, but we've got prices on this jewelry you would not believe. Uh, everybody needs to get them an item. Matter of fact, I, I think I've, I've probably just purchased me another one. Because <laughs> there's a couple that I really liked that was in there. But uh, see me at one of the shows. Look at what we've got. Some real nice I'll, jewelry right there. I, I'll tell you how much it is, and uh, you tell me how much you'll give, and we'll see if we can't meet somewhere. Cause it's, uh, can't beat that. Not, well, she's marked it way down. She just wants to let it all go. And I don't blame her. I, I, she's not going to do it anymore. Richard's left us, and... Uh, I think he'd want everybody to have a little piece of history, too, because yes. there's a lot of history right there. A lot of history. Super, super jewelry right there. I very seldom wear a tie, but I've thought about buying one of them tie tags. Because they are marked to go, that's for sure. Got good prices on the men's ring, the ladies' rings. I mean, there's yeah. some good prices there. All right, we also lost a fantastic breeding stud. Yeah. Yep, a real good horse. Jimmer for death. And uh, that, that, that horse, a beautiful horse, and already got world grand champions and world champions. Mm-hmm. 272, Jimmer for death. Dale Watts makes the winning ride in the spotlight ride. Great horse right One there. One real nice horse. <clears throat> He's got affiliates on the bend. Oh, uh, yeah. defeated yeah. once. Nice horse. Yeah, he is. Jimmer's Country Girl is one of his in only one time face to feet. He's a great breeding stud. Super good. We're going to uh, talk about something now that I really like, the Sizzler. 
It's going to be July the 30th, but I wanted to talk about it because it's kind of like going back in history. Yes. If, were you around then? No, I wasn't that around. But I figured if you could tell me a lot about it. I believe it was. Well, I got news for you, buddy. I wasn't there either. But but I know where it was. I spent a lot of time when when I was lived in Shelby growing up on that field right there, though, behind the high school. That's where the first celebration was held, was behind the old Central High School. And then, of course, it moved to the celebration. But... I'm telling you, what they're doing, they're going to have 17 halter classes. And to me, that is, it, it's, going to, it's going to be really neat. It, it really neat. is. Tweeba's doing this. They're doing it July the 30th. The class is going to start at 1 o'clock. And it's halter class. They've even got a lead line class. Yes. I think they have a lead line class for adult for yeah for adults and I might lead you around. That's, Jerry. That'll work. That'll work. <laughs> I don't think we'd win. <laughs> but it, I thought that that I, when, when I Mark was telling me about that, I mean that's that's very neat. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna make it to watch that. That, I'm gonna, that I'm gonna is watch history. It. Yes, I like what Carol Mistledine is doing with with her show. show too. Yeah, I mm -hmm. really like it. Bringing in Kentucky Walk Horse Association, Association for those points. Yeah. That way they, I mean, that, that's thinking outside that, the box. Yeah, that's And right. trying to bring everybody together, which I really like to get them. Yes. Everybody working together is, is just um, great. I'll tell you what. You want to go in and do some uh, victory passes? Yeah. That, right? that sounds like a good idea. Let's go to Columbia and see what we got. I'm Coach Cal and Allie Jo Jacob. I tell you what, Jerry, she, she rode that horse. Yeah, she done a real good job on that horse. I thought she did super. And I tell you what, the be age that horse is, and he still, he still compete just yeah. like he was a young horse, just like he was young. I can tell you, he looked awful good. He did. And I mean, she was really, she came in there to ride now. She yeah. really did. I, I was kind of proud of her. I know where Dad was. It looked real nice. She was getting it done. Allie Joe. Right here's a Mighty Jen and Jimmy McConnell from Mike Floyd. Tell you what, that's a nice one that's too. A, yep. Mike always had a nice horse. He does. Yeah, he always have a good horse. He uh, very active, very supportive. Yes, too. he is. Now, I, very I nice man. He is. He has helped with a lot of shows. He always supports any youth activity. Bikes in there supporting. Him. Yes, so you can't. Very nice for, man. I did a King Thane and Bob Adcock. Another real nice one. Hey, you can't beat Bob. He just. Uh, Bob is Bob no matter where you see yes. him. He is, he, right there he is. And that shaving's horse is something else. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> A keen thing. You know, it's amazing though that, uh, that's another good like it. Hey, I really like this one right here. Now. Honored in Texas. He uh, amateur five-year-old stallions. He's 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 getting it done, buddy. Looking great. I tell you, you take them horses like that. The older they get, the better and better they get every time they show. I believe so. Yeah. He uh, and that's proof. I mean, sell a horse for trade him for some <coughs> shavings, then he's. Does what yeah. this one's done. That's right. Or what the other one's done, and now he's got this. this I mean, mm -hmm. Bob just knows how to wheel and deal out there and get him a nice horse. It's the medalist. I tell you what, I thought. In all honesty, I thought he just did fantastic. Oh, yeah, Eli does a good job. Mm -hmm. 
Tell you what, his grandfather was one proud father. Oh, yeah. Now he, he's proud of that boy. Right here is Joe Pa, Winky Groover for Shane Porterfield. You know the big thing about this horse right here, he'll show one, two, three weeks in a row. He doesn't care. Oh, yeah. Good looking horse, boy. He gets it done. Winky does a fantastic yeah. job with him. Georgia, Florida, Here he is. That's Rob another nice Knox one. Knox Blackman. Robert Dorch. Georgia, Florida line. And there's another. Now he showed back to back nights. Yes. He, he's back out there again at Belfast. That's what I, these people talk about the abuse in the walking horse industry. Sometimes I wonder if they're which horses they're looking at. <clears throat> you know, because these horses can be 20 years old, yeah, and old and steady, you know, ready to go. Still out there getting it done. That's right. Right there, Harley Quinn. Now, I tell you, Beth was mighty proud of this one right here. Yeah. Thing about this horse right here, you can turn your head and she can steady doing that same lick every time yeah. you look at her. Sure and she's getting better and better every round. Best super good person too. Yeah. Super good. And she got married. We're gonna have to start changing her name on her victory passes. Right there, twisted with honors. Allison Armstrong. Now, right there is one proud owner. Oh, yes. Now, she was awfully proud of that one. That's another real nice horse. She told me that she really, really liked that horse and wanted him, and, but she got him. Well, he's got to walk to him, oh, yeah. doesn't he? Mm. Looking good. Right here's a country lineman and B.B. Beasley. I tell you, them girls right there <laughs> can ride the they hair can, off a horse now. You got that right. They can get it done, and and Beth, they about taking Beth's horses away from yeah. her. Here's I'm big enough and Maxine. I tell you what, it's a pleasure watching them. I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. And they're just as polite as one. And here he is, Mr. True Blue and R.M. Kelly. For the Jacobs family, your state class winner. I tell you what, he's gonna be hard to beat in the oh, championship. Yeah. We got a bunch of good stake horses yeah, this good, year. A bunch though. of good ones. One mess up out there and 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 you're out of the running. <coughs> All right. That's just a, a sample of yeah. what's out there. Up, oh, you gotta do your thing again. We'll be right back <laughs> after these messages. Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is the offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, that, I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young. Um, but now, I tell you, got all got a lot of talent. That hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. 
I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now, for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. What does Habitat for Humanity build? Hope. Opportunity. Joy and togetherness. Growth and transformation. Strength and stability. Community. Home. Hey everybody, I'm Garth Brooks. And I'm Trisha Yearwood. And nothing illustrates the beauty of what we can build together like Habitat for Humanity. A safe, decent, affordable place to call home is a canvas full of possibility. In our work with Habitat, we've seen what's possible. Financial stability, peace of mind, room to grow and play, better health, brighter futures. In your community and around the world right now, neighbors are helping neighbors build masterpieces of their own. Visit Habitat.org to learn more and get involved today. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, Ryder Cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. All right, welcome back. We're having a good conversation here. <laughs> yes, sir. We ain't going to tell y'all what we was talking about. <laughs> it might be something good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go to the, can you know, Cancer, they had a good show. Oh, yeah, real good cancer show. Cancer Foundation, mm -hmm. yes. I thought they had a real good show. They had a real a super show. A lot of good show. horses, quality horses. Yes. And that was all that mattered. All right, if we're ready, let's go to the Cancer Foundation victory passes. Right there's a champ. Now, he was reserved. Yeah. But see, he, he came back and showed this weekend. Eli Cunningham for Wilson and Cunningham, your youth pony reserve winner. That's the first time he had showed that horse in quite a while. Yeah. Plus, he, he was at a new trainer, so they had to get used to the horse. But that young man. Very consistent little horse yes, right there. Yes, he is. Just, just give him a horse and point him in the yes. direction of the ring. He'll take care of the rest. Right here, dim the lights in Sadie Parsons. Nice horse, real nice. Yes. For Rod and Sadie Parsons, you amateur five year old Baron Gildan winner. I tell you, more Sadie ride, the better and better she getting all the time. Well, you know, she, she, she ride for yeah. years. Mm -hmm. I mean, showed for years, but now <laughs> she showed saddle breads, which is a little different than a walking horse, but. She made a good show in Jamestown. She's a good jockey. Yes. She loved to ride them horses. Oh, yeah. All right. Dorel, Samantha Green, and Jeremy Williams took the blue. That's another real nice horse. Yes, he is. Samantha made a good show. Samantha on. made a real good show. She got to tote the hardware and, and Jeremy got to take the ribbon out. Yes. That's 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 fair. <laughs> and Virginia ended up with the hardware. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> nice horse. Jeremy does a good job with that yeah, horse. He does. Looking good. 
Here's Walt the Lime and Clay Sanderson. I tell you, this this is oh yeah, this three-year-old class at celebrations. Ooh, oh, it'll be pretty it's big. Gonna be smoking. I can tell you that. There's a lot of good three-year-olds out there. Nothing wrong with that, but no. Clay, Clay's a good trainer. Oh yeah, right here, here. Now Justin watched him win, so he said, "Let me get out there." <laughs> Straight Republican, and Justin Harney for Joe Link. But I think I may be wrong. But I think Justin ended up purchasing that horse. I may be wrong. I always that think it's a good step. Yes, he does. He's got that kind of like, just let, turn me loose and let me go, Lee. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it does it real easy, like. Yeah. And that's what you want. That's what you're looking for. You don't want to just go out there and get it. Here's Jose's Ritzy Hawk and Emma Black for Evergreen <laughs> Walking Horse Farm. I was tickled to see this one. Yeah. Because Emma, if, if she rides, sets a good seat, does a great job. Yeah, she does a good job. I was tickled for her. <coughs> I remember Virginia. Virginia's Hall. another person that let, like them kids I, to show their oh, horses. Or yes, like she that. loves yes. from the show. Yep. Virginia walked up to me. She said, I'm going to have to have another because I want Emma. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. I, she supports a big time. All right, now we're going to have some fun. We're going to go to Belfast, mm -hmm. but I'm going to tell you, this first class now was tough. It oh. was tough. <laughs> and I'm just glad to know that Lane Leverett had enough sense to let the ladies win. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> because if he didn't, he, he, he might have been sleeping <laughs> on the couch and eating in the barn with he, the horses. The horses, you are right. <laughs> but, but he got out there and showed <laughs> it, it, against his wife. So he, he, he did all right. There, there is Mandy and Laney Leverett. Now they won the class, which they should. And then you got Hawk and uh, Lane was reserved. Now Hawk's on Texas Pete. <laughs> but I thought, yeah, I thought this was pretty good. She done a good job on that little pony. That's the first time she, they show both of them showed that pony. Oh yeah. Right there. And that, that's the queen. Uh-huh. Lane, you, you're doing good, buddy. Lane done a good job there. <laughs> And Hawk just says, giddy up and go, no, daddy, yeah. giddy up and go. <laughs> All right, it's not up to the best I think it's pretty neat, though. I really do. Uh, I thought it was great. Tell you what, Laney's sitting in a good seat there. Yes. I like to see them kids when they learn that they they're supposed to be looking <laughs> through those ears. Ears, yep. Instead of not looking around and all this. That little pony, she's, the more that little pony gets showed, the better and better she gets. Yeah. Well, I think Hawk wants to be a cowboy. Yeah. There she is, the queen, and Lady Leverick. And on the victor's stroll, let's take a look and compliment the queen. 647 the number. Lady Joe Leverett, 6 sold that pony to him. You ever heard of how the announcer announces her name? Huh? Le Leverett. Leverett, yeah. <laughs> That's good right there. It really is. Yeah. There's Hawk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Lane, I am so proud of you, bud. Yeah. <laughs> you did good. All right, here's your show pleasure amateur <coughs> class. Yes. Yeah. I tell you what, showed last week, come back showing this week, or he yep. showed in Columbia. Mm -hmm. Then he comes back and shows. Georgia, Florida line, Robert Dorch took the blue for Robert. Escapee and Jennifer Pendleton was reserved, and well armed American Ray Abernathy finished out the ribbons in this class. That was a tough class. Oh, that right was there. a tough class. Now, I'm going to tell you, they had some good horses in that class. That Escapee horse is a real good horse. Jeff has done a good job with that horse. Hey, what? There's three nice horses in yes. there. And them ladies, I'm going to tell you, everybody needs to watch all three of these riders. Yeah. When I watch Robert ride, you know who I think about? Uh, Joe Martin. Yeah. I mean, cause Joe just looked like he was melting yeah. forward in that mm -hmm. seat. And Robert does a great job. Yeah. Now Jennifer sets a good She's seat, so does Ray. There's your winner, Georgia, Florida line, and Robert Dorch. I was texting back and forth with Bruce McDonald. Uh -huh. I said, George, Florida won. He said, who was riding? <laughs> I think it tickles him when, when Robert wins. Though. Yes. Robert does a good job now. And here's Cole Hahn and Ali Joe Jacobs, your youth <coughs> 11 underwinner. That's Closer. nice. This is a good horse right here. Oh, Lord, yeah. Yeah. Celebration time's coming. They had a good show over there in Belfast. Yeah, they did. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, them kids make a good show. Mm -hmm. Here's your three-year-old Marin Gildan, and this was a Ryder Cup class. Don't bleak now, and R.M. Kelly took the blue for Jake Jacobs. Jose is a hell of a view. Link Webb for Tommy and Nancy Mills. My girl, Charlie. Tanner Burks for Joe Rich family. In the real world, Jerry Beatty for Chris Coates, and she's mighty fly, Jimmy McConnell for Jacob Duke. That was a good class. Oh yeah. Here is your show pleasure youth. 
Tijano and Daniel Schmidt for Larry and Elsie West took the blue. Nine Dangerous Yard, Mary Frances Way for Fisher and Way. My name, Jose, Georgia Hazelwood. They call me Samson, Boston Kate Tillman. And I am Jose Jr. Corbin Parker finished out the ribbon. But I'm telling you right now, I am a Daniel Smith fan. Oh, yeah. I think that kid is just, he, he's got equitation from head to toe. Uh, yeah. The way he sets a saddle. And I know Elsie and his grandfather are just tickled with him. Oh, yeah. There's Boston Kate. There's Francis Way. There's a young man. But right there, look at the way he sets oh, that yeah. saddle. He sets up in that saddle. Hey, you can't, you can't beat that. Right there he is, DeJano and Daniel Smith, Show Pleasure Youth winner. I like the way he sets up in that saddle oh, yeah. and gets it done. Yeah, I do. All right, here's your amateur three-year-old Marin Gildan. A heart of Dixie and Casey Todd. Took the blue, Steinway, Amelia Hesseldine, I am Sassy, Lucky Collins, a Dixie Miracle, Jacob Miller, and Lady Eight, Christy Warner finished out the ribbons. That's a good class. Oh, yeah. Wasn't nothing wrong with that class. A real good class. There's your winner, a heart of Dixie. Right here, your four-year-old canter class. Only two horses in there, but they were good ones. Yeah. Radio Gaga, R.M. Kelly for Carrie Benedict took the blue, and the Dixie Outlaw, Bill Bobo for Charles Johnson. Well, I like seeing B.O. show a horse. I do too. Yeah. <clears throat> Got that cap pulled down there yeah. like he's one of Godfather. Uh huh. R.M. does a real good job oh, with the yeah, horses. He does. He, he does, does a real, real good, good job. job. He's yes. a good jockey, mm -hmm. but we're not supposed to tell him that because <laughs> Kerry thinks he gets big head. Uh -huh. I believe it was Kerry told me that. Said, uh -huh. We don't want to tell him he gets big head. Yeah. All right, your turn. 
We'll be right back after these messages. Can't believe you're doing this alone. I've done it before. I remember you threw your back out. <laughs> How you holding up? Hand me that board. Nothing wrong with getting help. I'm good. I did it when Felicia left. I'll figure it out. I know you will, but you don't have to do it alone. That's all I'm saying. If I promise to look into it, will you drop it and help me build this fence? <laughs> now you need my help. You can be a real pain sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor ordeal. Minor ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five world grand championships, one world grand championship, and the reserve world grand championship as well. Minor ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our world grand champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, minor ordeal. 6-time world champion in amateur and open competition, 4-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. An estimated 11 million Americans have heart valve disease, but most of us know little to nothing about it. People can be born with valve problems, or they can develop from cardiovascular disease, infections, certain cancer treatments, and age, with older adults at the highest risk. If diagnosed early, it can usually be successfully treated, no matter what your age. Valve disease can cause a number of symptoms, including lightheadedness, irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath, tiredness, swelling of the ankles and feet, and not feeling like yourself in general but is often only detected when your heart is listened to by a healthcare professional. So listen to your heart, see your healthcare professional, discuss your risk factors and any potential symptoms, and go to valvediseaseday.org to learn more. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Well, we're going to go right back to Belfast because we've got some more video from there that's uh, pretty good. And, and there's one class that I was just, I looked up and I seen it. And Greg takes credit for it. Mm -hmm. I asked him, I said, whose idea? That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> let's, get, let's go back to Belfast. Here's two-year-old stallions. Hot Streak and Jimmy McConnell took the blue for Don Bullock. He's Raymond Reddington, Jesse Barnes for Beth Beasley. Titleist Chrome, Blake Sims for Sherry Sims. Doppler, R.M. Kelly for L.D. and Tammy Austin. And Ben Amati, Josh Osborne for Scott Baker finished out the ribbons. some nice classes yeah. down there. Now go on and run them all, let them all go. 
quite a few people there too. Oh, you yeah. When you look at one side of the ring, you wouldn't think if you looked the other side of the ring, you'd say, well, you know, it's pretty packed. Mm -hmm. Been a pastime for years out right there. Oh, yeah. Stay in winter, Jimmy McConnell. Right here, the youth pony winner, a champ, and Eli Cunningham for Cunningham and Wilson. I mean, Wilson and Cunningham. I said that backwards. Yeah. James will get me for it. He'll say something. Tell you what this young man can show Oh, yeah, he sure can. A lot of shows between oh, yeah. now and the end of the year now. All right, two-year-old Marin Gildan. Perfect pitcher and Steve Bean took the blue for Sudie Reed. Charles Lucky Lady, Blake Sims, Pat and Sue Harrington. Ritz's rising star, Link Webb, Vernon Arnold. Mighty Persuasive, Tanner Burks, John and Tara Sales. My Song of the South, Blaze Picard for Rhonda Hatch finished out the ribbons. Showed one in that three-year-old class, though, didn't you? Yeah, three-year-old open. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking you did. That third place, that's pretty, yeah. good, pretty good. That's a good class. Oh, yeah. You had a lot of people cheering for you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing. Eight picture perfect. Steve Beam is riding. Amateur specialty. Now here was a class. Yep. Zaro Jr. and Maxine Beasley took the blue for Beth Beasley. Unreal. Dr. Jim Baum was reserved. And Walk for Roses, Kelly Clark finished out the ribbons. Yep. That was a good but class. That right there tickled me. It just goes to show how great our horses are. Oh, yeah. I mean, it really does. That horse has been shown open class the majority of his life. Mm -hmm. And here's a, a youngster out there riding. Yeah. I don't think she can't ride. Oh, yeah. These youngsters can ride, to me, they ride better than the, a lot of adults. Zaro Jr. and Maxine Beasley to the blue for owner Beth Beasley. It's gonna end up with no horses oh, yeah, at all. That's right. Them girls are gonna take every one of them. And Beth's gonna sit there and just smile from here <laughs> to here. All right, three-year-old stallions. You didn't think we were gonna show that, did you? <laughs> Mahomes and Link Webb took the blue for Jones and Richards. 
I am Savage, Tanner Burks, Dr. Steve Powers, and Yakety Yak, Jerry Williams for James and Judy Gilbert, King's Majesty, Bill Calloway for Ben Beard, and Scotty Pippen for Josh Osborne for Randall Baker. But right there, the man is. I thought you. <laughs> I'd have tied you a little higher. <laughs> now I would have. I wish you had been judging, Jerry. <laughs> hey, that horse, to me, he didn't make no mess up. That's a nice little horse. No, he was getting it done. You can tell you knew the cameraman. He got a lot of you. <laughs> did make a good show. I mean, that's pretty, pretty obvious. Jose, it ain't so. This horse right here has over 40 blues, four world championships, and a world grand championship. You can't ask for more. Oh, no, you that. can't. He's standing over at Spencer <coughs> Benedict Stables, $750 stud fee. That right there is 41 blues, including the World Grand Championships yeah. in Open and World Championships in Amateur Division. That's a nice horse. Yes, he is. He is the only horse to ever beat I, I Am Jose. Jose. That's right. And that's saying a lot. All right. We got a few minutes to kill, so I'm going to do something because I am very excited about the Tweeba Sizzle. Me too. Now, I, I tell I mean, you, I am. That right there is going to be, I mean, that was way before I was born. Yes. And uh, But there's a lot of people that, that can talk about those times, but just going up there behind the high school, we used to practice baseball, little yeah. league baseball behind there. But now they, for three years, they had the celebration was held behind the high school. And it was mainly lead line padded, you know, not, not padded, but lead line classes that they, that they would have. And this year they're going to have a lead line for trainers. Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't know whether maybe I need to lead you. Well, no, I can lead you. What's I'm that? using them lead line classes. I'm the leader. <laughs> <laughs> I get a rider. You, 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm the leader. Up. Yeah, you got to sit up. up. Mm -hmm. You got to sit up. I, I got that. We'll, we'll ask Jimmy if he'll do it. Okay, that'll work. Because Jimmy, Jimmy has been led around the ring before. <laughs> we, we, had, we had a young lady lead him around just tickled him down. Yeah. But now he was nervous. But I, I'm, I can't wait for that show. You know, I'm going to tell you, I think it's going to be a real good thing for the industry. I think it's bringing back a lot of history. You know, that's, that's the whole idea is to bring back the history of it. Because right now, Jerry, a, a lot of people are doing things to uh, really promote our industry. Yes. We've got youth classes. They're going to have another youth class down in, in War Trace before the War Trace show. Mm -hmm. So anything to help the youth, I'm all for. But, and then I'm, I'm going to go back to what Carol Misseldine and them are doing, because they're going to give at least a $5,000 check to the superintendent of the Beverly yes. County Schools. But there's one thing that they just did affiliating with Kentucky mm -hmm. for those points. Yeah, that kind of helped the ones that have been going for them points, help them get the points and stuff like that. But going back to that show, you know, if you into this business, even just having a horse show on that, on that grounds, gonna feel some kind of feeling to you inside. It's about like some ghosts or something that's gonna come back to you where the first celebration was ever started, you know, was right there. Well, I have tried my best to find a class sheet from the first celebration. Yes. I have not had any luck doing that yet, 
but there's bound to be a brochure or something out here that people can look at that uh I mean just just to bring back the history yes and I know there's gonna be a lot of people there that have stories about it mm -hmm. because now there was a that was it and you know the first show first walking horse show was in war trace yes and they used to walk up and down in, in front of the stores there to show what kind of horses they had back in the um, I forget what year it was, but it was the hundredth show that War Trace had. We set up down there, and and we had people riding in 1800 costumes, side saddle. Yeah. Uh, we had Woody Woodruff down there building shoes. I mean, we really did a lot just for people to walk around and see how things have progressed. So this right here. You know, when, when they first started over to showgrounds at Celebration Grounds, up on the hill, Yeah, they had a blacksmith shop. Uh-huh. And there would be people standing there. Oh, they front. cooked. I remember they cooked and everything else, you oh, know. It was, I'd give anything. I'm going to talk to Mark because it, it would be nice if we had two or three blacksmiths get together and go off down in one area over there and show people, let them, Woody Woodruff make a book make a horseshoe pretty yeah. quick. Mm -hmm. But it, it'd be something that they could see where where we were and where we are. Oh, that's right. And see the horses. Uh, there's different things that we can do to where people can see, uh, see the history. Oh, yeah. And I would love to have something where the horse, how the horse first started and then what the horse is to the day. Today. It, it, it would be nice. Of course, yeah. we got the flag. We got all this. Uh, you and I talked about an idea that I'm going to throw at them and see if they'll go for it. Matter of fact, we'll be over there tomorrow. Well, we'll be over there Wednesday, which is tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go register a filly, but I'm going to ask them about that then. Yes. Because it'd be a good, I think it'd be a good thing to do. We're not telling nobody what we're talking about, but maybe next week. Yes. <laughs> next week we might let you know, because especially if they agree to do it. But it's it just... I'm looking forward to that show. Yeah. I really am. I think it'd be great. I think it'd be good for the industry. And I, I just hope the news and everybody around covers it and gets something out, out of, of it. it. That's right. That's, that's I hope thing. so, too. I hope. Well, I guess that's all for this week, unless you got something you want to say. No, just say everybody good luck these, this weekend at the horse shows. And, and remember be to safe. keep the Sims family in your prayers. Yes, keep so them in your prayers. They, they, they that's a good, so. real good family. A, a terrible loss. Yes. We'll see y'all next week. See. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left Hunger down low and reach high to the sky Got my rhythm down pat, so they say I'm looking like a winner in every way So when I hear somebody say, what a horse I know they're talking about me, of course And I'm gonna be in that winner circle someday I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.